up everybody and welcome back to Server Saturday for the very first user submitted episode. This is Scarlet Raven's mansion that he just calls Raven Manor. And uh, looks like a pretty cool build we are on vanilla texture pack, uh, specifically asked by him. And uh, his description here says, The first thing any multimillionaire should have is a fancy house. The Raven Manor is just that. With extravagant detailing and an open air design, you're sure to be blown away by the ocean view. Money is well spent, however, for there are plenty of secrets to be found. If you want a drink of wine, be sure to press one of the buttons in the kitchen. Uh, I don't know what that means. Just one or times one? Not sure. Once you've done touring the home, visit the Red Portal Core. After fun has been had in the danger zone, go down the shaft of redstone. There's a times three. Oh, are these, I think these maybe are bullet points. Once you've found the private uh, cave, take a swim for one last room. Flip for answers. Oh, okay. So those were asterisks, and he was leaving me a little hints. Just use the elevator, third button right. When you enter the house, go under the boat, there's a small room. Okay, well, it's kind of hard for me to get back into the description. Super thanks to everybody who helped dig out most of the areas to lay redstone on. You guys are amazing. Also, if the front door is set to trap door, run inside and flip the switch on the right. Oh, okay. So someone may have been uh, been here already to, to mess around, and they may have forgotten to reset it. So... Anyways, yeah, here we are at um, Scarlet's place. There's a tank out in the front. Uh, I'm going to pop down and, and get the full experience from the ground level. We have no entry. All right. Easy peasy. The Raven Manor. I want to check out this tank real quick. I mean, a millionaire who owns a tank out front. It's got to be hiding something, right? There is redstone here. Which, uh... Which one of these buttons does something? Or ma oh, maybe they all do something. Maybe we gotta go inside? Oh yeah, there you go. The Kraken Wagon. That means ambulance in German. Whoa! Hey, there we go. Set, set your front yard on fire, I'm sorry. Let me go put that out real quick. We don't have fire spread on, but even still. Might as well, uh put it out. Uh, gate button. Oh, so this isn't the front of the house? There's a mailbox there. No, it's not the front. Okay. So we got to push the button for the gate. Oh, that's, uh, that's trap door. So I think that's what he was talking about. If it's set to trap door, uh, pop on inside and change it. Front door controls. Let's see. Trapped, enabled, and disabled. Hey, there we go. All right. So, um, we'll, we'll check out the, the trap door, though, uh, on our way out. So here we are in the mansion. We got uh, some portal guys, I think. I think those are portal portal guys. Oh, his eye kind of follows me. That's, that's creepy. Oh no, these buttons do stuff, right? Yeah, that was in his description. There's nothing there. But the third... Okay, the third one opens up that thing. Okay. So we'll, um... We'll remember that. Can I click it again to close it? Nice! Okay, we'll check that out as well once we're done with the main house. A very cool patio area with, uh... I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. A pie? I think maybe it's supposed to be a pie of some sort. Cross from there, another little balcony. I like this actually. The um the glass uh railings and stuff. I don't really like the the fact that it's like it looks like you could fall through, but with Minecraft I think that these connect in a in a weird way if there's a block underneath them, but looks good for the the modern feel. Got an infinity pool over here. And waterfall, yeah. No, I noticed a waterfall, and there, I, I also noticed that there's a boat and a cove over there. Oh, it has one of the see-through floors, too. Oh, that's creepy. Pool lights and waterfall. Where's the... Whoop. Oh, I guess the lights are here. And, um... Is there a waterfall? Oh, the, the lights are on now. 
Oh, and the waterfall just reset. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so I guess that's if the waterfall is not active? Oh yeah, it shuts it down. I just didn't uh, didn't give it enough time. So the waterfall can be up. Oh, shoot! Activated that button and opens it up. Oh, two streams of water. Cool. All right. In the main living room. Yeah, the other place looks like a kitchen. I like the couch design. That's cool. With the snow. Sit in front of a uh, giant fireplace in case the back of the couch is too cold for you. A pool table over here with pool cues. A little reading area. More areas to read. And upstairs we have a seating area and another patio. To get it even. I mean, you got a pretty cool view over here, so I can see why you would want to capitalize on that. I like the roof and stuff too. Very cool. And a spa or hot tub, probably, more than likely. Not so much a spa. I mean, it could be a spa. The person's a millionaire. Could be like a mini spa, you know? Floating bed. And up on the top, I know we have a helipad, which is pretty sweet. Although I'm terrified of heights, so I don't know if I, if I ever become a multimillionaire, if I'd have a, a helicopter myself. Unless, like, there was some sort of, um, uh, like, huge benefit, the meta bird. Run pressure plate, block of quartz. Um, unless there was some benefit of, like, how much time I would save if I had a helicopter to, like, get If I had to go places. If I had a, an urgent need to go places. And I had to do it a lot, and a helicopter would save me time? Sure. But, uh, if not, probably not. I'd probably stick away from it. Love the block of cheese. In the kitchen. Not bad. I hear skeleton. Not too happy about that. Skeletons scare me. Let me see. Do you, any of these do anything? Aha! Oh. Was it this one? There it is. And a button probably to go back up. Ah, got a keg and stuff down here. Not bad. Uh, I am in creative. I need to be careful of that. Uh, I had to be in creative for my little film thing to work. And a um, underground gambling center uh, for just roulette. If you're if you're only into roulette, then uh, it works out. Hip. Ooh, barely made it. Chopped my ankles off. All right, let's uh check out the portal thing here. Downstairs to a, a ship of some sort. What is this? Light switch. The lights were already on, so I don't need to hit it again. Oh, that's what the sand probably is. To open the hangar. Just replace the blocks. Oh man. That's a lot of redstone. But well, that's kinda cool though. The hangar door that comes down that you could then take your jet, I think. Do we get blocks that come up here to block? No. Okay. Is there a is there a name for this? Everything else had a name. Ah, there it is. That's that's the name of it. And you could sit right here. That's actually <laughs> that's pretty cool. You can even sit in the cockpit. What's the button for? Maybe to shut that down? That's pretty cool. And down here, elevator will only work if the light is on. Don't press if the elevator is still moving. Button to turn on or off the elevator to reduce lag. Thank you for, for that. To go down. I don't understand. So do I press that? Press this note block to call elevator up. Did I do it? Okay, so now. I'm pressing this one, but that one's lighting up. Oh. 
There we go. Does it only work in sections, or do I gotta wait for... Okay. I think that half the floor didn't come with it. Oh! Although that's pretty sweet. I feel like, uh... I feel like I got stuck somehow in the middle there. I don't think I did that wrong. I mean, I, I turned it off initially, but, you know, I figured I'd turn back on. Um... I assume these are probably to go back up. I don't want to hit those right now. Or is this a... <coughs> this button might need a few clicks to call the elevator down. Oh, okay. So I had to, like, get started up. And we've got a lower underground area here. Golf... or golf court. With a golf court here. Which looks oddly like a basketball court, but, you know. Definitely a golf court. Got showers, which I assume these are probably lights too as well. Yeah. Got to be able to turn your lights. I got got to conserve energy, you know. Over here, we got a basketball court. Looks like a pool, but all right. More showers. Got to got a shower after every sport. If you're not, then you're doing it wrong. You're, you're not a pro athlete. Got another golf course. The bowling ball in the middle of it. Did I just pick up an egg? No. You just pooped out an egg. I like that the, uh, the bowling balls are up on like a shelf to make it that much harder to get them down, you know? Over here. Ice hockey ring? Or just maybe a skating ring of some sort? That's probably where we were, hear where we were hearing the skeleton. Uh, volleyball, maybe? I feel like there's probably supposed to be string here. Or badminton? I don't know. Some people like badminton. I'm not a big fan of it, personally. Oh, is this an arcade? That text-based game. <laughs> it's got a sign in it. Escape from the circuits. Adventure, the becoming. Got pinball machines? Pretty cool. Just pinball machines, yeah. Racing sim? Wall Street Simulator. Oh. <laughs> Presumptuous Square. It's a pretty cool arcade. Across from the arcade, what do we got? Movie theater. Nice. That's definitely something I would have if I was a multimillionaire. I would definitely have my own movie theater. After, um... Hanging out in, in Dead Mouse is like home theater thing. Definitely want my own. That thing was sweet. And here we are at the at the boat. The hidden boat. Waterfall toggle. So wait, if we shut that off, does that turn that one off? Yeah, it does! Cool. SS censorship. Nice. Bunch of buttons. We got a lower deck as well. A kitchen. Some beds with water on top of it. Oh, this must be like a hot tub or something in the front. Engine controls in the back. Uh, how do we get up there? This way? All the way up to the top. We have another lever. Just opens this. I don't understand that. Am I missing something here? Is this supposed to be something? But we do have a hot tub in the front. I don't know how the passengers are supposed to get there. Maybe walking over here? Along the very edge of the boat. That's pretty cool, man. And yeah, now you can just sail on out. Alright, let, um, let me turn the waterfall back on. To hide it once more. Hip! And um, I wonder if I can actually raise his hangar door again. Do not destroy the sand. That should open that back up. Or cl close it up, I guess. Alright, we'll let that go. And then we're gonna go and check out the trap door. Whoa! Ah! 
I'm lost. There we go. A trap door that's in the front here. I'm gonna press this and oh no, we fell. This is Felix the chicken. Oh, well, Felix is still here hanging out. Sorry, no visitors allowed at the moment. Oh, okay, I get it. So it's like a deterrent. Deterrent from uh, from people coming visiting. But um, pretty cool. Did a good job, Scarlet. As always, looks pretty sweet. I really like the tank. That's pretty cool. Maybe give him an actual platform to be on. Or maybe it's your daily driver. Maybe it's your actually your your car that you're taking around. Anyways, why don't we uh, why don't we check out another one? And we moved on over to Merzetti's Island, which you guys have probably seen in my Camp Mongoose Let's Plays, but uh, he's finally submitted it, so I guess it's uh, it's ready to be checked out. His description just says, Merzetti's Island Oasis, and um, suggested that we use the texture pack Sfax for it. And uh, there's no real, like, start to this place. He has a bunch of cats somewhere. Um, so I'm just going to start with his uh, his main house here. And then work my way around. Which, um, first off, I want to point out his really cool, like, torches that he has set up with, um, two of the, uh, armor stands. And then, uh, using one of the heads from Head Database with a torch on it as well. And, uh, it gives a really cool look. Merzetti also has, I think, the most beacons out of anybody on the server. And right now my beacons aren't rendering properly. They're rendering as like lines. I've tried refreshing and taking the texture pack off and putting it back on. It's it's just being weird. So, um, I mean, you guys know what beacons look like though, and he looks like he has one of each color out there. But uh, anyways, you walk into his main house and you see it's pretty open. He has um, I think just a couple of chests out here. I think right below us is his actual item storage. His bedroom over in the corner with a pretty um big view of, of just nothing, of just the ocean. Um, half his armor stand missing there. Actually, you know what? No, let's check out the upstairs first before we go downstairs because the rest of the stuff is downstairs. I oh, know he moved some storage and stuff up here. Maybe he has always had stuff up here. I don't know. Blur Tricks? Crib. Blur Tricks? I don't know who Blur Tricks is. Are you new to the server? Um, don't have a whole lot downstairs, uh, and upstairs is still pretty barren as well. What do we got over here? Personal warps, so I don't forget. Okay, well, there's all of uh, his personal warps right there for you guys. Um, Merzetti. I guess he's using the back half of his name. I was like, who the heck is Zeddy? But Merzetti. I get it now. Clever. Most of these chests are empty. I know he has a lot of stuff, but I guess it really is just all downstairs now. Unless he's cleaned this up since the last time, because I know this was causing a lot of lag for people. And I'm not experiencing a whole lot of lag anymore. So, uh, maybe, uh, maybe it got fixed. But, um, hey, you can see all the different chests of all the stuff that he has. And I actually kind of like this style of storage room, too. Because like, you could stand in the middle, and you have access to all of your chests and stuff all the way around. Which is, uh, pretty nice. Drop chests. Drop chests. Okay. I guess that's so you can drop off items for Mazzetti if you need to. Uh, more storage and stuff over here. A bunch of food. And there's this Wither Skull collection, so it looks like he can make five more beacons if he wanted to. Um, too easy, mate. Get good. His, uh, all of his enchanting and stuff, which are all named Blast Protection, Depth Strider, Bane of Arthropods, Feather Falling. Just a whole bunch of stuff. He, um, Mazzetti is one of the people that has probably gone the hardest, I think, on Camp Mongoose. Really grinding out a whole lot of stuff to really be prepared for whatever situation, you know? Uh, I'd say one of them, because there is a couple of other people on here who have done, um, just as much work, and we just haven't checked them out yet. Rosetti's cat playroom, really. So this is why we hear a thousand cats, because Rosetti actually has a room just to play with cats. How do you even live near this, Merzetti? You are insane. I'm all for playing with cats, but to have a, 
a whole room full of them underneath where I'd be spending a lot of time. Mine, not yours. I get it. It's a mine. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Got uh, the nether wart farm over there as well. Oh, that's the back half of the one room. We came out from there. I didn't see the nether wart uh, thing. But uh, you can see all of his beacons and stuff are down below here. And um, there you go. Now they're kind of rendering. You can see he has a green, an orange, blue, yellow, and a red. I believe. Yeah. All right here in the middle. And you can see how many buffs I currently have walking around here. Beacon on off switches. Okay, so look at that. He even has switches. Up is on, down is off. And resistance 2 is always on. Okay. That's nuts. This is uh, his furnace room. Blast furnace and forge. Pretty cool. Whole bunch of backup anvils. I wonder if he actually uses those ones. Looks like he only uses this one. Um... It actually wouldn't be a bad idea to have anvils, because I'm pretty sure if they fall one block, they're fine. But if you just had like a stack of them and you only used the bottom one until it broke all the way, and then the whole stack would fall down and replace it with another one, you know? I think that there is an auto-loading like thing that someone came up with. Mercedes Fish Shop. I don't know why I have a fish shop on my very own private island. <laughs> well, it's probably like the places that have like Starbucks and stuff on their own area too. It's just like you don't want to deal with it. Or maybe this is like the the income for the island. Like this is the island's income. People come here for the fish shop. You know? Enchanted fishing rod. That's a pretty good rod. Not bad. Nice rod, Merzetti. I like the fishes. I never actually looked at him. Look at this guy. The puffer fish. Nemo looks sad. It's actually kind of cool looking. Uh, empty little space there. Uh, I don't know if there's anything else. We got this other building, I guess, over here. So let's pop on over to that. Those cats, man. I don't know how you deal with it. It's like people that like live next to like another portal too. Can't stand it, man. Guest house claimable. Oh. Damn. No, I can't. I can't. I can't claim everything. I gotta. I gotta leave stuff open for other people. So if you guys want to live with Merzetti. And, um, you're, uh, you're not someone who's mean and who's just going to destroy a bunch of stuff. Looks like there is a guest house here. I don't know if that comes with rights to his item storage and his enchanting and stuff like that, but, uh, it might. Mercedes a pretty nice guy. Got a couple of small farms up here. I like these modest farms. I like these modest farms. Not bad. And you got your hoe in a frame right there. Got to frame the hose. So, uh, yeah, that looks like it's about it. He's got this place pretty decked out. I'm a little jealous. What is that switch over there? Oh, that's probably to block off. Yeah. Alright. That's pretty cool. So, um, yeah, guys, that's going to do it for this server Saturday. Hopefully you enjoyed it. We're only checking out two because there's only a couple of builds that have been submitted um, as of right now. Actually, it does still kind of lag when I look at it as a... Uh, at his main house. It was way worse. I see the lights are coming on now. Um, but uh, yeah, again, I will uh, I will be making a small video after this uh, to show you guys how to use the Service Saturday plugin commands and stuff like that. So right, whoop, if I can spell the word view right. Um, right now, I've only been to Scarlet's and Mercedes. As you can see, Mercedes' name is actually light blue. Which means that he has a build that he's submitted and is ready to be viewed. While other people's names will be white. See, Leonard's is, uh, is light blue as well. And so is Chopper's. Um, so if I go into Mercedes, I can see that this one right here. That one I can now click as featured. So that one has been covered in a service Saturday. And now I know that I don't need to come back to this one. You see how it's glowing and stuff. And now Mercedes' name is white. So that's how I can tell when there's builds actually being ready to, uh, to, to see. And my other, my character was just doing this as a test. I think his one is actually called, yeah, Test Place. Um, when we were testing out the plugin. So if you guys actually have a build that you want to submit, make sure that you, you set it to, that it's ready to be fe featured. Because there is a couple of people in here that have builds, but they're, uh, they're not completed yet. So if you want me to check them out, make sure to click uh, click that. 
We'll be checking out the Dragon Fortress next week because I feel like that one requires a whole episode to check out. That's the one that we saw uh, on the last Dragon part or the first Dragon part. I'm not sure which one it was. Um, that I was wondering if it was part of the Dragon Base or not. Chopper got a hold of me, told me, he's like, yeah, it's almost ready or whatever. Told him to submit it. So it's ready to be viewed. Well, we're going we're to be checking out that next week. That should give you guys uh, plenty of time to work on your own builds and to submit them. Because uh, if we don't have builds to check out, uh, Server Saturday's not going to have content. Because this is just about showing off uh, what you guys are building on Camp Mongoose. This isn't me going around to other servers and checking out other people's builds on different servers. This is our server, the official Team Mongoose server, uh, Camp Mongoose. Also, I'm reading through applications today as well, and I'm going to be accepting a bunch of people. I think I'm going to be doing the email thing, um, but if not, I will have names at the end of this video of just the people that were accepted. Uh, there has been a lot of applications, so um, should be pretty cool. Going to have a lot of new people on, and I'm uh, really excited about that. Uh, oh, also, to encourage people to finish stuff, uh, I'm going to be leaving a legend badge at each of your guys' um, houses uh, to um, to basically say, you know, thank you for uh, for submitting a build. Um, that is a private chest. Yeah, I'll be putting it in private chests in each one. So that's uh, that's where Merzetti's is going to be, right here. So Merzetti, there's your legend badge. Thank you very much for submitting your build. And Scarlet, yours is probably going to be in your, your mailbox out front. Uh, if it's not there... Let me know uh, a place where I can... I'll, I'll find a private chest somewhere. Somewhere obvious. But uh, anyways, I'll see you guys next week. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to join Camp Mongoose, you can either enroll today through our Mongoose store or you can apply for free with the application that's also linked down below. Anyways, I will see you guys next week. Congratulations to Ender Squire, Dino Unit, Hattert Lee, Felix J, Bats220, Payerboy66, Icy New Year, Anya Sideburns, Death with a Grin, The Coe's Nun, Cypher, or Cipher, Kant Reads, Fish Pie, Tom Linson, Guardian Tay, Metalorn, Haven557, Bad Mained18, Donovan, Yodels, Abducted Souls, Omniphobia, and Box Factory 76. Welcome to the server.